<laughs> so now that we've started warming up our lungs from all this laughing, we can start working on the rest of the body too. So just a reminder, everybody, that you are in charge of your intensity. Okay, so everyone should leave the class feeling good, maybe a little bit energized, like you did some work, uh, but not completely exhausted. Okay, and there's different ways to do that. Terry, you now have to keep that on the entire class. <laughs> You're not allowed to take it off. And just keep me posted on if things aren't feeling good. Okay, gang. All right. Okay. Everyone's going to come in with different energies at different time. Um, and you just do what you can. And if you need to stop for a moment and take your deep breaths in and out through your mouth to recover, uh, you need to do that then. All right. So we're going to start seated. Oh, good. Holly's back. That's been a while. All right. So we're going to start seated. I come back onto my chair. If you can all see me, I might just adjust this very, very slightly. All right, gang. Let's get it going. We're just going to start with a deep breath in. Think about filling up your belly as you breathe in. And then we're going to breathe out through pursed lips. So deep breath in and out. Go at your pace. Everyone has a different lung capacity. We're just going to do four. So deep breath in as deeply as you can. Out through pursed lips. Two more. And one more. Perfect. All right, everyone put their hands on the side of their hips. Because I'm going to get you to do something. We're going to practice something, then I'm going to get you to hold it. So all I want you to do is to clench your glutes. And remember, those are the muscles in your bum. So clench your bum and then relax. Clench your bum, squeeze, 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 and relax. We're just going to do a couple of those. Tighten up that bum, hold, then relax. Tighten up, hold, and then relax. Three more. Tighten up and hold, and relax. Tighten up and hold, and relax. And then once more again, just so that we get the feel of it. Tighten up those glutes. Squeeze, 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 and relax. All right, now the next couple sequence of movements. I want you to just think about not tightening those glutes as hard as you can, like we just practiced, but about 50%. So can we tighten up those glutes, hold them, don't relax them at all. And now take your hands, thumbs to your collarbone, and we're just gonna open up one shoulder at a time by making circles with our elbows. So you're getting that elbow up and out, up and out. So this is a great way to open up your chest. Remember, opening up the chest can help you take a breath in. We've got a couple more circles. Just make sure you're still keeping your glutes tight. As we start doing different movements, it's gonna be harder to focus on that, but that's our goal. Perfect. All right, right from there, you're gonna put one hand just behind your head and pull the elbow across your body and then pull it open and out. So pull it in across your body. And again, just think about those glutes staying tight. It's okay if those glutes get tired, just do the best that you can. Pull that elbow in and across and then open it out. Pull it in and across. Then open and out. Two more on this side. Are those glutes still tight, guys? Maybe. And switch hands. Now your other hands just behind your head. Pull that elbow in and across and then open it up. Awesome job. Pull that elbow in and across and then out to the side. 
your head stays still and we're keeping those glutes tight. And we're not putting any pressure on our head. Pardon? Sorry, I'm just talking to my dog. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. One more game. Open that shoulder up to the side and then back in. All right, relax those glutes. And then you're going to tighten them up again. Sit up nice and tall. And we're pushing our hands forwards and back. Forwards and back. Good. Now we're starting to get that heart rate up a little bit. Keeping those glutes tight. That's an important for our sequence today, guys. We're going to get those glutes working. Getting your glutes working is important for your walking, for staying balanced. Good. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together as you pull your hands back. And now we're just going to pull one hand back at a time. Uh-oh. You know what's coming. Coordination is coming. Beware. <laughs> and now you're going, one arm is back one, back two, then switch. One, two, then switch. Pull back one, two, then switch. Pull back one, two, then switch. One, two, then switch. One, two, then switch. One, two, then switch. One. Two, then switch. How are those glutes? Remember, you can always put a walnut between your bum cheeks. Keep it tight. Try to crush it. And it sounds funny, but that's actually a pretty good cue to get people to do it. <laughs> so I promise I'm not just being silly. There we go. And relax those arms. Perfect. Can I use okay. my hazelnut, Joe? You can use your hazelnut. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. You're going to tighten uh, your glutes as you push your knees together. So again, if you had um, something between your knees and you're just trying to crush it, squeeze it, squeeze those knees together and then relax. So squeeze those knees together. Your glutes should tighten up too. And then relax. Press your knees together. Tighten up your glutes. Then relax. Good. Tighten. And then relax. Tighten. And then relax. Tighten. And then relax. Good. Tighten. And then relax. Tighten and then relax. Three more. Tighten and relax. Tighten, relax. One more. Tighten, squeeze, 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 and relax. Awesome. Now, if the muscles, your glute muscles and your adductor muscles, which are kind of those inner thigh muscles, if they didn't feel tired at all, um, then next time you need to squeeze a little bit harder. Okay, so now we're going to bring your knees together. And again, not squeeze as hard as you can, but go about 50, 60%. You're keeping them tight as you move your hand across as if you're patting yourself on the back. Then you're going to switch arms, reach across like you're patting yourself on the back. And then you can relax your knees. So again, the sequence. Okay. I know. Squeeze the knees together, reach across, one, reach across, two, and then relax. So tighten, reach, reach, relax. Tighten, reach, reach, relax, good. Tighten, reach, reach. Relax, tighten. There we go, gang. 
We're getting everything patterned today. So much fun. Tighten and reach. Now, as we got do just a couple more of these, um, I forgot to remind you at the beginning of class to just have a look around you. Make sure you've got some space clear of any tripping hazards or things to step on. Uh, make sure you're either in bare feet or sturdy non-slip shoes. And we will get to using a weight and a band later today if you have those things and want to use them. We got one more, reach, reach, and relax. Now, be honest, whose glutes are a little tired? Fine. <laughs> well done. That's awesome. So that means you're getting the brain connected to those muscles. Just perfect. So now, and those glutes don't get a break yet. I am not very sorry to say. <laughs> now we're going to tighten up those glutes. And you're going to lift up a knee, lift up the opposite arm, hold, and then down. And then you're going to switch. And when you switch, I want you limiting how much does your body twist or turn to the side? Can we keep everything nice and square? So you reach up. Nice and slow. And then down. So limit how much your hips move. Now we switch legs. Up down again we're limiting how much shifting there is can we keep our body still down and switch down and switch so again keeping our body super still as our arm and leg reach up There we go, team. This is uh, these last couple exercises. They're the type of exercises where they can either be really easy if you're not doing them right, or they're actually surprisingly challenging. They're focused hard at tightening up the muscles and limiting the extra movement. We got once more per leg, everybody. So try to keep those hips nice and still, even as a leg lifts. Down. The last one. And relax. Feel free to dance it out. You're just lucky I'm not playing Christmas music for you all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've only got fun Christmas music, though. And it's energetic stuff and things you don't hear in the grocery store. All right. Now, gang, you are going to either do this next one seated or standing, whatever you prefer. We're just going to take one leg. We're going to cross it over the other. Tighten up the knees together as you do that. And then you're going to uncross and then open up the leg and then bring it back. You can, then you can switch. So it's a cross over. Uncross, open up, bring it back. Cross up the ankles, uncross, open up. Okay, now if you are standing, make sure you've got some balance support nearby. You're just gonna take one leg, you're gonna cross your foot over, step, step. So it's a crossover, step, step. Tighten up your core to cross, step, step. Cross, step, step. There. So whatever you feel like is best for you today. And again, anytime we're standing and moving, we want to keep our knees slightly bent. We want to be slightly leaned forward so we're not up tall and backwards. We're here nice and stable. So it's a cross, step, step, cross, step, step. All right, so keep going, whatever you've chosen to do. Again, if you're seated, it's that crossover, press the knees together, uncross, and open up. There we go, team. So just six more minutes of this one exercise. 
Oh, I wanted seven. You wanted seven minutes. <laughs> Deal. No. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for, Terry. <laughs> In all his years, he's never learned that. <laughs> Great job, gang. Just a couple more. All right. And rest. So again, seated or standing, whatever is best for you. We're now going to get into a little bit of marching. I'm going to lift up my right knee up one down, same leg, up two, down, and then I'm gonna switch to my left. So it's up one, down, up two, down, then switch, up one, down, up two, down, one, two, switch, 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 one, two, switch. One, two, switch. Now, as we do this, guys, we're going to get your arms opening wide and coming back close. So it's open, close, open, close. As your legs do a one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch. There we go. Sometimes your, your leg will kind of do a stutter step or try to do a third. <laughs> That's normal. We're trying to split our brains. One part of our brain is focused on what our feet are doing and the other part of our brain is focused on our arms. And then there's another part of your brain that's aware of your breathing pattern. Oh boy, oh boy. So we're still trying to maintain a steady breath, breathing in through the nose as best you can and out through pursed lips, which is super important for getting that excess air out of your lungs so you can inhale more oxygenated air. All right, gang. So now your leg is going up, step out, then switch up. Step out, then switch up. Step out, switch up. Step out, switch. So you lift the knee, then step forward. Lift the knee, then step forward. Good, now as we do that. Are you pointing your toe or heel when you step forward? Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm touching just my heel so my toes are pointed up. Thank you. Great clarification, thank you. All right, now gang, as you get your legs moving, I want you just to pump your arms. <laughs> <laughs> now, if your brain starts going, what? <laughs> yep. You can do just one arm at a time. Phew. And switch, but the switching back and forth is pretty tough too. Yeah. Uh, I gotta rest. Yeah, rest when you need to. And you can alternate. Any, any limbs going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'll never find out if I do this kind of stuff for your benefit or just for mine. For your chuckles? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amusement is beneficial. No, this stuff is hard game, but it's so good for your brains to work at. Well, I think my mine is tired by now, Jill. Your brain? Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah, that can happen for sure because it takes focus and look, thinking of different things and rest. So absolutely, it would make sense. Okay, gang, we're now going to get one arm reaching up at a time. 
And this one, again, you can do seated or standing. So as your <laughs> arm reaches up and down, I'm going to get you just to step your feet out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. There we go. Out, out, in, in. <laughs> My coordination is terrible. God damn it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what? Come February, you guys are going to be amazed at how some of this stuff that you couldn't do before has become almost easy. You'll get there. Oh. The trick is to find a pattern. So the trick is to find, okay, is it easier for me just to steadily lift up one hand at a time? Or is it easier just to get into a pattern of my feet stepping out and in? And then from there, you can give more attention to whatever part is harder, right? One part's just got to find a rhythm. Find which one takes less effort. You can even pause if it's your arms. Just get your <coughs> arms into the rhythm. One, two, one two, one, two, and then add in the feet, but just keep up that steady kind of one, two in the back of your mind. There we go. And rest. Wow, that was awesome. Oh, that wasn't easy. Oh, no, 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 not at all. But you did great. How exciting. So now I want you to pull your heel up as if you're trying to kind of kick the bottom of the chair. So start with your feet a little bit forward. Don't start with your legs at 90. Get your feet a little forward and now pull back one foot at a time. Like you're trying to kick yourself in the bum. There we go. Great job, gang. Now, are we ready to add to it? Nope. No. <laughs> Hands together. Now, I want you to pull your elbows up as far as they'll go without your uh, palms removing from each other. They stay glued. And now pull the elbows down to touch. So let's open up the elbows, pull them up. You're going to gently put some pressure on your hands and then pull the elbows back down together. Open up as far as they'll go and close them as tight as they'll go. And your feet are still moving, kicking back, just like you're trying to kick your bum, kick the underside of the chair. Boy, oh boy. This one's a hard one, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just hear in the background. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> uh, there we go. And rest. I'm going to shake out good. those shoulders. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. You're going to have a whole 10 days off from me. The turns are lush. What's that, Clancy? I said to turn to mush. I just know that's going to happen. <laughs> no, no, we're going to put up a challenge. We're going to have a challenge. You got to get two, uh, well, three workouts in. So they're all the online classes. There's lots of other um, video options. You got to do three. Before the next class starts. <laughs> Joe, how do I get into the online classes with all these? Can you access your chat right now, David? Sorry? Can you access the your chat in just Zoom? Me, just let me see. Uh, chat? Uh, yes. My chat's not there. Yes, there it is. I think so. 
If for those of you whose chat is not there, are you on an iPad or tablet? iPad. iPad. iPhone. So what you should have, or iPhone, what you should have in the top right of your screen is three little dots. How's it going, Luke? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust a carburetor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I found the three got the raised hand and the little logos. No, I don't have the a, first I, time I don't have chat. I don't have a dot. I got a little chat uh, uh, icon in the bottom of the uh, of the screen, which says yeah, chat. Yeah, some of you have a chat icon at the bottom of your screen. Some of you will be in the top right hand corner once you click if on you, the oh, button. I see it. Gonna, I see it. There you yeah. go. And you if can, you open up the chat, Maureen has placed oh, okay. some links Time there for you. Oh, I see it. Yep. There, there we go. go. And you can just um, copy and just copy them, or you can open them up right now and then just leave them alone. Totally up to you. So while some of you are trying to figure that out, the rest of us, we're going to do something even more fun. And it's called Grab Your Band. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't much cheering there. <laughs> We're afraid to. It just stopped the end. <laughs> Terry, don't ask for extra. <laughs> yeah. I did it. You already I did. My band. So take your band, you're going to put it around your back so that it comes forward kind of underneath your armpits. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you got your hair? <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, when the rubber catches your hair, that's the worst. You're not kidding. If it's long enough, you could put it around your chair. <laughs> Just be aware, guys, whether it's around your chair or your back, if you pull up, it's going to swing out the back of the chair. <laughs> so keep your hands low. <laughs> So we are going to punch forward one hand and lift our opposite knee and then back down and then switch. Okay, so it's punch forward one hand, lift up the opposite knee, down and switch. That is cool. There we go. Does someone have a video playing in the background? If you do, oh. if you can just either um, turn the volume off or just mute yourself, that would be awesome. There we go, game. So punch and lift up your opposite knee, punch and lift up your opposite knee. Now we've done a couple at a steady pace. I want you to tighten up your glutes just like we practiced. And I want you going just a little bit faster if you can. So find something that is challenging yet doable for you for 30 seconds. And again, tighten up those glutes. Oh boy, oh boy. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Great job, gang. Now as we're doing all these things, focus on your breathing. You've got just a couple seconds left. Three, two, and one. Woo! Awesome job. Now take that band around, out from behind your back. And this time it's gonna go around the bottom of your feet. There we go. So make sure you're standing sturdy on the band, guys. So your feet are kind of right underneath you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lift up a hand, just like a bicep curl. So what that means is our elbow is bending and our fist is coming up towards our shoulder. Now, as I pull that hand up, my same side leg is going to go out to the side and then back in, hand down. And then we're switching. So hand up, leg out, back in, oh. and down. Who said ow? What was <laughs> that? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, that's hard. Avenger is going to be really long for this one. Uh, yep. So what you can do is just get the arms moving, or get the band just under one foot. Focus on just the one hand going up as the leg, and then you can do opposite, the opposite leg moving out. Okay, and that can be a little bit lighter resistance as well. Now guys, you shouldn't feel anything in your lower back. If you do, or if it feels like it's straining, then either just focus on your arms or just focus on one leg moving out at a time. Just make sure we're going at a steady pace. That means not rushing it, not trying to get as many as you can. Keep up your breathing and tighten those glutes. That's why we spent so much time practicing at the start. I knew you would need them for sure today. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> What hurt? I heard a bad go snap and I heard ow. That was mine, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> oh, that's hurt. good. <laughs> there we go. Last couple gang. Three, two, two and one. 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 Woohoo! <sighs> All right, we're gonna come back to those two. But first, you can just put your band to the side and grab your weight. And now this one, guys, I'm going to encourage you to stand. Um, and if you're not comfortable standing, then what you're going to do is just hold the weight in front of you as you tighten up your leg to lift it up and down. So again, tighten up that thigh muscle to lift it up and down. And you're gonna do 10 per leg. If you are comfortable standing up, we are gonna do 10 sit to stands or just as many as you can. If you can't get, get to 10, that's no problem. I encourage you to hold your weight. And you're gonna lean forward slightly. Now if your knees are sore, leaning forward more is gonna take pressure off your knees. Clench those glutes hard. And then as you go to sit down, stick your bum out behind you. That's gonna take pressure off those knees. And up, tighten those glutes. And then down, two, three. That was nice and slow, well done. And up, tighten those glutes. And down, two, three, and up. Woo! Again, stick that bum out behind you to take pressure off the knees. And up. Down, two, three with control. And up. Boy, after about three weeks, guys, I'm seeing less plopping. That's awesome. And up. I'll be honest, I've lost count. I said too many words. I think that was seven. 25. Uh, no. <laughs> if you had said nine, I would have believed you. If you had said 12, I might have believed you. <laughs> this is nine. Down, two, three. And last one, up, glutes are tight. And down, two, three. Well done, everybody. You can put your weight to the side. Make sure you're getting some water. Oh, I keep getting my nose wet. <laughs> All that water? Gotta dry my nose every time I get a drink. Be careful, Rudolph, it's freezing out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right, guys, we're back to needing the band. Okay. Put that band around your upper back. Just 
All right, once you're set up, we are punching and lifting our opposite knee and back, punching and lifting the opposite knee and back down. Make sure we're tightening through our core. Punch, slowly lower down. Punch, slowly lower down. Punch, slowly lower down. There we go. Awesome job, gang. Punch, slowly lower down. Punch, slowly lower down. Great job, gang. And now you can go just a little bit quicker if you are comfortable with that. Challenging yet doable. Keeping that core tight. How you doing, Holly? All right, gang, and rest there. <coughs> it was fine. So then, oh, good. <coughs> Thank you. Just checking in. Put that band around the feet. And remember, you can put it around just the one foot, depending on the length of your band. Lots of ways we can do this. All right, gang, we're pulling that hand up towards our shoulder. Our leg is pressing out and back and slowly bring it down. Pull that hand up, press the foot out, back and slowly bring it down. Up, press out, back and slowly bring it down. There we go. Great job, gang. Damn it. <laughs> now my band is too short for both legs. And so when I put it down one, then it slips off. Oh, does it? Yeah. Or, or I can't open it because it's too tight. Well, then just do this, David. Uh -huh. Just have one hand holding the band down by the hip. And so the other hand pulls it up as the leg goes out. And then bring it back and just do that one side for five to ten and then switch. Okay. So you might want to do just a couple, but just keep going. Um, but the rest of you... I, that was lots, so rest there. You can put your band to the side and pick up your weight. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Jill, we already did sit to stands. And I'm here to tell you, of course, and we're gonna do them one more time. <laughs> oh, oh, how nice. Woo! Remember the goal is five to 10. Just do what you can. You wanna get above 10, you go for it. Um, and if you're not standing, you can stay seated. Just tighten up that leg, slowly lift it up and down and then relax. Okay. Now tighten up those glutes, guys, and up. And down nice and slow. And up. Down nice and slow. And up, down, nice and slow, and up. Tighten those glutes, and down, nice and slow. 
and up. Down nice and slow and up. Maintain your breathing, guys. Remember, it is helpful to breathe out as you stand up. That was five. Oh, there we go. Sometimes a good oof helps you get out of that chair, too. There we go. Eight. Nine, ten. <laughs> Nine. Down nice and slow. And one more. Up. Down nice and slow. Woo! Well done, everybody. All right, I do want to get a bit of balance in uh, before your holiday break. So if you are, if you need to stay seated, uh, then what you can do is just sit on a pillow or a rolled up towel, something that gives you a little bit of wobble um, as you sit. Um, and then I will get you moving your arms differently, but I'll, I'll let you grab that if you need to. Now, um, for those of you, if we're gonna stand, then just stand with whatever your balance support is. Highly encourage that to, it's at least there for you. Now we're gonna stand on one leg and you're either going to touch your other leg just to the side and then back. Like similar to a step, but you're just Touching hot water and bring it back. Touching hot water, bring it back. Or you can swing it to the side slowly and slowly bring it back. Okay. Now, if you are going to be sitting, again, I encourage you to sit on something wobbly like a pillow, rolled up towel. Um, you got the edge of your seat. All I want you to do is to open up your arm, diagonal and back. And I'd encourage you to close your eyes because that will work on your body's ability to feel and know where your body is in space without relying on your eyes for visual cues. So if we're standing, we're just swinging that leg out to the side or touch those toes out and back. Aim for five to 10 per leg. If you do just five, you can switch uh, back and forth twice. So you can accumulate 10 on each side. Maintain your breathing, guys. And this is 10 for me, so I'm going to switch and press that leg out to the side and back. Maintain your breathing. And you can challenge yourself. Tightening those glutes does help you stay balanced. So get to a point where you feel in control, but a touch wobbly, and then try tightening those glutes. And that's 10 for me. So now what I'm gonna get you to do is to try to stand on that one leg and then slowly lift your head up just a little ways and then down. So lift that head up just a little ways and down, focus on tightening those glutes. If standing on legs a bit too much, but you want to stand, just stand heel to toe. Now, if you're sitting, I again, I want you to hold that knee up in the air Eyes closed and just lift up one arm at a time. And focus on trying to keep everything nice and still. Okay.
This is halfway if you want to change legs early. Great jogging. Keep up your breathing. And switch legs. Woo! Yeah. And lift that head up and down. How are we doing, gang? <coughs> Good. It sure got quiet. <laughs> And rest. Holy smokes, team. Feel free to shake out those hips. You can sit back down. All right. Now let's just take one arm, lift it up by bending the elbow, and push this back or wrap it around your head. It is time to stretch, gang. Bit of a stretch, isn't it? <laughs> and switch arms. Yeah. Boy, I don't know where the time went. Fast, yeah. Yeah, it's just about three o'clock. Holy smokes. Two Me and Paul. Two. I got that. My time. It's two o'clock. Yeah, BC two o'clock. <laughs> you are so right. My clock is in 24 hour time. <laughs> <laughs> so it says 13.55 right now. And for some reason, my brain erased the one, <laughs> which still doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, I <it> don't. <doesn't. laughs> <clears throat> oh, my goodness, guys. It's you okay, Joe. Surprised at first. Thank you. <laughs> Straighten one leg out in front of you. Reach to your toes. <laughs> I'm done do these ones. No. I've got a I've got a few discs in my back which are not good, so I don't touch my toes. Well, it's, and that's okay. So what's important is that you're not trying to touch your toes. Okay. You actually want to keep up nice and tall, and then just lean forward from the hips. Okay. Really gently. So notice I'm not rounding forward at all. Okay. You're up tall and you'll feel it a bit higher up in your hamstring. All right. That's good. Yep. And you can always point your toes away from you too, David. And yeah. that just takes some of the tension off the nerve. Okay. So it doesn't irritate. And so it's legs. Well done, team. Everyone did fantastic today. So, so great. You know, Jill, when I was younger, I used to get up and touch my toes 20 times. Oh, yeah. Now, now I just get up and have a coffee and wave to them. I was going to say, I, was, I thought you were going to say, no, I can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that I, I don't see him that often anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And from there, gang, turn in your seat. One leg goes back. <clears throat> what is one thing you're looking 
looking forward to this week, guys? Turkey dinner. Turkey dinner, nice. You bet. Seeing my little grandson. Oh, oh that's lovely. Turn and face the other way, guys. There we go. Anyone else looking forward to something this week? Yes, I'm also, I'll be with my kid, my daughter, two daughters and, uh, and their kids, uh, four grandkids and two daughters on uh, Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. So that'll be nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. So lots of grandkids, hey guys? You bet. Yeah. Here we go. I thought it was really neat on the weekend. Um, I have two friends that got married last year, so they didn't have any no celebration it was just their parents and then their their two friends that were in their bubble um so what they did on the weekend was they had a little campfire so you brought your own your own food and your own chairs but you got to sit outside with a couple friends and just celebrate nice. these two that got married last year oh. so that was neat and a great idea we could keep distant and outside. All right, gang. I want you to put a hand on your belly and a hand on your chest. Now we're going to take a, a breath in. And as we breathe in, I want you to fill up your belly first, then your chest. And then we're going to breathe out belly first and then the chest. Okay, so breathe in, fill up the belly. When the belly gets full, then you can fill up the chest. And then we're gonna breathe out belly, then chest. There we go. So breathe in through the belly, fill up the chest, then exhale, belly, then the chest. Two more cycles, breathe in. Out. And one more, breathe in. And out. There we go. How does that feel, everybody? Good. Yeah. I <coughs> <coughs>